not very long ago, and in fact, like literally minutes for me, I'm still wearing the same shirt, so you can kind of tell. I did, sorry to break the magic of YouTube for you. I took a look at the Nerf bow and arrow for a tag back, which is kind of a landmark blaster because it shot arrows, and Nerf has always been about shooting arrows for some reason. I mean, they did it all the way up until the blazing, 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 blazing bow shooting these stupid arrows, and they're actually pretty darn good. I mean, maybe less good for actually hitting people with, but it's debatable if you're supposed to hit people with them anyway, but they work. They work pretty darn well. They've always been kind of darn awesome for what they are, and well, certain things showed up in my P.O. box, uh, essentially the same blaster. In fact, apparently it's done by the person who made the original Nerf bow and arrow. So this seems entirely fitting and well, you can still buy this on Amazon for not a lot of money, which makes it great if you are really interested in since you probably won't have the ammo for the original bow and arrow, but you'll probably have ammo for this one since it apparently comes with six arrows and then you can buy like extra sets for them as well. And that's, uh, hopefully it's good. Uh, it's the Faux 3 Bow, Faux Bow 3. It's kind of hard to tell, but it says range really over a hundred feet. I will be testing the crap out of that. If this thing is better, it might actually have some actual credence to being used as an actual blaster. And it says on the back, a note from the inventor. I wanted to invent a bow that has the look and feel of real archery. I wanted it to be solid and well-made. Yes, I know it's plastic. Yes, I know there are many bow and arrow toys out there. I invented the original Nerf bow many years ago. After it was taken off the market, many foam shooting toys followed. All were very high tech and shot multiple projectiles at different speeds and distances. They just didn't have the feel of archery. Something was missing. I felt that returning to the low-tech approach was the answer. That's why the fake wood made sense. It feels great to load up an arrow and pull back. Relaxing your fingers on the handle lets you lets the arrow fly off at amazing speeds. I hope you have as much fun with it as I do. Sparky. Nerf is a registered trademark of Hasbro toy. I mean, it's a thing. It, it's totally a bow. It shoots arrows and apparently you can put it together and shoot arrows out of it. I haven't opened this one yet and apparently it comes with like I said six arrows which is just crazy to me and yeah that is a lot of arrow oh is that like paper for the fletching on the arrow huh that's interesting I guess he wasn't kidding when he said low tech approach the I'm guessing instructions oh this is looking very similar Well, I'm not like eight, but I think I might be able to figure this out. You just take this thing and twist it on the end. That's, 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 that's pretty good. And I'm guessing you take, uh, take these things. That is a lot, that's six arrow holders, okay. I'm gonna just uh, take this and I'm guessing it's gonna like clip in there. Yeah, pretty much like that. Then you're gonna take, uh, take this thing and you're gonna Clip, uh, clip that in there. And yeah, it's exactly like the bow and arrow. It, it works almost identically. Um, the grip is kind of weird. It, do, it definitely doesn't look like something you should be grabbing with your hand, but uh, it works. I, I don't know about the, the wood. The blaster does have a matte texture on it and my God are the seam lines. God, you could like fillet a kid with that. That's not great. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought that was a button for taking the bow arms out. Well, that was the quickest you'll ever see a uh, happiness fade. That's that's kind of interesting. So these arrows are very stiff heads, plastic, very thin plastic shafts with what literally looks to be paper fletchings held on by 3M tape. Um, it does hold them, which is great. Um, Again, I, I don't, I mean, at least it comes with six. Oh my God, I'm gonna tear these arrows apart. It's a good thing it comes with six arrows because they don't really feel all that durable. Amazingly, and I can't believe I'm saying this, they feel less durable than the foam ones. But uh, maybe that's just me being a little pessimistic, but it does hold six arrows on the thing, which 
that makes it look pretty freaking cool. And it feels almost identical. Actually, it feels a little bit stronger than the Nerf bow and arrow. And thankfully, Homely also sent me a five pack of rockets. So we'll just open that up. It's uh, for the universal blaster pack for the blaster pad and Fobo. Warning. This product propels foam-tipped arrows at a very high rate of speed. If arrow hits you in close distance, it will hurt a lot. It may even cause serious eye damage. Before shooting, make sure nobody's in front of you. Yeah, okay, well, we already know we're not going to be paying attention to that one. We'll just uh, take one of these and put them on the end here. Well, should be a thing. I'm going to shoot the car. Ah, it seemed a little bit better than the Nerf bow, but... Considering this was voted like best toy for kids in 2010, I would assume it would be better than something that came out in space year two, 1991. I, let's just take it to the range. I mean, maybe it's really good. I, I would love this thing to be good because then I can take it to a war and shame people with it. I just love how that looks. It's just a mess of arrows on this bow. It's actually really lightweight, which is good. It's reasonably small. Uh, the plastic it's made out of feels very similar, like the plastic that they use for the uh, containers on stuff like the like super soakers and stuff like that. That weird, real waxy plastic, which is a I don't know. I don't really like the feeling of it. But we're gonna take one of the arrows off here. I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna aim. Fire! Oh. Okay, yeah, that's like double the distance of the, the Nerf bow. But again, I would expect that. See how good it does flat. Really? Well, it's a good thing they give you six freaking arrows. Now I have to wonder if any of these are gonna freaking make it. <clears throat> wow, you could actually tag the crap out of somebody with this thing. I mean, it's pretty easy to dodge, all things considered but the distance is remarkable. And as long as your freaking arrows don't blow apart on you, seems like it'd be a pretty nifty thing. I mean, that's like dead on accurate. The range is good. That's actually comparable to my rival testing ranges. So that's something to keep in mind. And well, it's really not that big. It does feel like the actual bowstrings like always don't do anything so if you didn't want these you could probably remove them definitely feels like there's a spring in there but i'm too lazy to take it apart and besides the one arrow literally destroying itself that's not bad that's honestly pretty darn good for this thing i mean if you wanted to shoot arrows uh, that's one way you can do it and this thing's like 20 bucks on amazon so not bad not bad at all hmm might actually be worth picking up if this is your kind of thing. I'm oddly impressed with this thing. I wasn't expecting to really like it at all, and now I'm just kind of waiting for our next war so I can hopefully shame somebody with it. I don't really think these would hurt all that much more than, you know, taking a freaking hurricane, a, a hurricane, high impact round a cane to the face, um, which happens on a regular basis when you play without a darts, but this thing does function well. I was surprised at how well the bow and arrow worked after, you know, 20 something years. And this works even better. And this is really reasonable for what you get. You do get six arrows, which is probably good because the head on one of these was not glued at all and flew right off the first time I shot it. But that's forgivable since it does come with plenty of arrows. And they do sell arrow refill packs, which are Again, not very expensive, and well, they work. I, I, the second one of these darts, I know I said this about the Dude Perfect bow, and I was actually kind of mistaken on that, because a kid then immediately stepped on one. The first arrow that was shot at a war, a kid stepped on one, which was hilarious. I, those can survive a step. These will not. I can guarantee you they will probably die. I, I can guarantee probably they will die, because I feel like I could just like, crimp it and it would never work ever and maybe it would work but it never worked the same but accuracy distance velocity all of it's pretty darn well the grip while it looks really strange does fit perfectly and just the way this thing works and looks i for, for what it is i i could actually recommend it if you want like a bow and arrow you want something that actually works and 
I know Nerf makes their own things like, you know, the Agent Bow, the Revolution Bow, the Dreadbolt. There's reasons to like those, but if you just want typical bow and arrow action, I think this is gonna do a bit better. They are dead on accurate. They work perfectly fine. The velocity is good. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to hate here except for the durability of said arrows and the look and feel of the bow because it just looks freaking weird but it works, so I can't really complain about that all too much. I know when I did my Dude Perfect Bow review, a lot of people said you should get a faux three bow or a faux bow three or whatever. Uh, this is actually better than the Dude Perfect Bow. I'm happy. I like this thing. I will definitely take it to my next war. I will want to use it and it will be a lot of fun and sweet. Uh, thank you very much, Homely, uh, because now I have plenty of arrows to actually hit people with and a bow that's capable of doing that. Let me know what you think about the Fobo 3 down in the comment section below. If you want to pick up your own, there is a link in the description where you can pick one up and it would help the channel if you decided to buy one. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything except for the price of the bow, but I get a little bit back, which helps me buy things like this. Or, well, this, I didn't buy this. It was sent to me by a friend of the channel, but you get what I'm saying. It's, it's pretty darn cool. I'm excited to hear what you guys think about this thing. So... Yeah, I don't know how to end videos, but I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this one. And I, of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one, which if you just watch the bow and arrow, uh, this is not very much different. I guess I kind of blew that one. Probably the next video won't be very much different either, but what the heck.